And now we have another Master Sergeant added to our ranks, Christopher Walken. It is time for those Master Sergeant medals. Let's see how things have changed up. The events in this video are fictional as the characters have traded with him. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. <laughs> Not a single casualty. I'm certainly impressed by our soldiers' combat abilities. Buck, Tech Sergeant? Oh, right, yes, I've undone all your perks, haven't I? Did you actually rank up, though? No, you didn't. You're still a gunnery sergeant, so all of this is correct. You need just under a thousand to get whatever this perk is. I think it's damage control, maybe? That was gonna get down here. Next up, friendly. Uh, yeah, you're a Master Sergeant already. You need back Corp Spirit, Atlas, Master Sergeant, and Shades. You didn't level up either. Okay. And Walken, I think you did level up. Yes, you did. Nice. Oh my god, jumpy legs. Oh man, jumpy legs. So here's the problem. Dead I know you're not shooting class. Jumpy legs would make you the ultimate Cobra operative. Like, oh my god, you, you would be so incredible. But once the Cobra operations are done, I think you're going to be kind of useless. Collateral damage, on the other hand, would give you that versatility to still be good after the Cobra extraction missions are done. I think I'm going to go with the collateral damage. Your mobility has never been an issue. And jump legs are sure they will be useful but being able to jump over things it's nice it's, it definitely is nice but it's it's just an extreme it just makes you go from like an incredibly good operative to an amazingly good operative but after that what would you have you got a pet you got concealment and that's about it really i think sprinter was your random rookie perk i think so i think to make you more utility for when the exalt missions are done give you collateral damage which unfortunately you can't even use that while doing the covert missions because you need your primary weapon to do collateral damage although technically yes you can use your pistol but i'm not going to allow it that is kind of broken the whole point of collateral damage is you need your weapon to be on full ammo your primary weapon so no not your pistol but even so i think i'm gonna go for collateral damage a useless perk for now but it actually give you utility when we're done with the exalt missions yes okay Eight weapon fragments, 14 meld, actually not bad, and the intel. Intel decryption completed. So it's either in South Africa, Russia, Germany, China, or, well, that's it. You know what's really sad about YouTube? That there are some country names that you just can't say. Anytime you say a particular country name, your video gets incrementally more flagged. And I'm pretty sure I just listed off like two of them. But either way, four more possibilities. That means three more missions, and we'll know where the exalt base is. Okay, and we're back, and now we have another Master Sergeant added to our ranks, Christopher Walken. It is time for those Master Sergeant medals. Let's see how things have changed up. Bear in mind, a lot of people at Master Sergeant, not only are they going to be getting um, every four missions, I think it is plus one stat, either health, aim, or will. I don't think it includes mobility. But also, with the Star Wars bonuses, they'll be getting plus one aim and plus one will, up to a maximum of eight. So, the highest health is still Perry Beefcake. That's on you. Lowest health, nobody has that because we are still drawed between Friendly and Johnson both at five health. The only way someone's gonna get that medal is if they make it all the way to Master Sergeant starting on the lowest health possible at four and getting there with no health upgrades. So maybe someone will get that medal, I don't know. Uh, I'm, wait, seen a buddy? Uh, I just noticed that. How are you on three health? That's not possible. The continent bonus that I picked when I started the campaign was plus one health to all soldiers. Plus one health is guaranteed. And not to mention the average soldier has four or five health, so you're looking at 20 to 25% health increase just flat. They will all get it. So, XCOM Africa, it will be again. Base minimum is three. That plus one health means that their minimum is then four. Just seeing that, how do you have three health? That is not possible. You're literally below the minimum of what's possible. How do you... Oh, man. Okay, well, just seeing how that medal might go to you. Let's find out. I mean, granted, you've got a long way to go. Possum Knight, you're on four health. Fox Powers, Betty Davis, and that's it. If anybody gets that glass cannon medal, it's going to be one of you guys when you get to Master Sergeant. And then, never skip leg day. The soldier with the highest mobility. I mean... Walken, we all know that's you. That's the reason why you're an operative. And I think actually that's the reason I turned you into an assault because you had incredible start mobility. Then I turned you into an assault. And I think you also have sprinter. But fun fact, if I kick you out here, just with whatever, as you can see, Sprinter is a bonus. It doesn't actually apply to the base mobility. It's considered a plus three. So that 15 mobility that beats everybody, that's your base mobility, not including Sprinter. So buddy, that never skip leg day medal, that is for you. Finally, someone gets that medal. I think it was joint between a bunch of people, obviously on 14 mobility. A lot of people have that, in fact. Atlas, you're one of them. Then Couch Potato, the lowest mobility. That is going to be split. It's a draw between Johnson and Watt, both on 11 mobility. So nobody gets that medal. Cool 
all under pressure, the soldier with the highest will. Man, Van Dorn, I really thought that would be you. Your will has actually increased by two, probably from the Sars May Live bonuses. Maybe even by three, I think you might have got to one random extra stat increase from just being a Master Sergeant doing missions. But Johnson, buddy, your will has increased even more. So Van Dorn at 75 will, and Johnson, you are at 81. Man, I don't actually think Van Dorn can beat you now. Assuming, actually, actually hold on, let, let me have a look. Oh, okay, update. Just checked all my notes. Johnson, you have maxed out your Sars May Live, so you will be getting no more bonuses to your aim or will from that perk. Van Dorn, on the other hand, only has two Sars May Live bonuses, so plus another six, another six aim and will, that will put your will at exactly 81. So at best, it's going to be a tie, unless one of you get a plus one will from every fourth mission as a Master Sergeant. But yeah, not including that, it is going to be a draw. And that corner of the pressure medal will just disappear because it will be a split between the two of you. Then, nerve wreck Snyder that was on you at 50 but do you know who beats you out man 50 at master sergeant how could anybody have even lower oh Walken what's that 46 will that means the medal goes to you buddy 46 will at master sergeant I'm pretty sure we have rookies at more will than that that's crazy oh man let's hope nobody can see you to mind control you because they're not gonna fail that dead shot is on Snyder still from the last time I checked I think his aim was at 108 it is now 110 and I'm pretty sure let me check oh actually that might be from Sars may live. Yeah, you're at five Sars may live. So quite likely it was from that. But still, 110 aim with nothing. No laser weapon, no scope, no alloy bipod, no laser sight, just base flat 110 aim. Oh my god. And then lowest Master Sergeant Will. Originally, or at least the last time we checked, it was split quite awkwardly across like four or five people who had 87 aim. Hey, but Walken, do, do you know what operatives don't need? Yes, that's right. Aim. You have 84 aim at Master Sergeant. Oh my god, man. <laughs> So just make it to Master Sergeant, you got highest mobility, lowest will, and lowest aim. Ah, oh, beautiful, buddy. Beautiful. Well done. Who needs to think or shoot when they're an operative? Just need to be suave. Well, <laughs> that was fun. Okay, moving on. Yes, I know we got a base assault in Canada. And speaking of base, please no base defense. You know, the thing that I'm worried most about base defense is, A, I can't exit once I get to, what is it, uh... I can't exit once I get to this menu. Once I'm told, add soldiers to the roster, I can't exit the game. It won't let me save and exit, you know, think about it for a few days, who do I want to bring a mission? I wish it gave you that option. I wish it just, you know, added base defense here and the time wouldn't be able to tick on. Essentially, just, just put it here on top of this button. So you couldn't click that button, you have to click base defense. And the other reason I'm worried about it is because I haven't updated the name list yet. Whenever we get a new soldier, either from a terror mission or a reward soldier or a trade or something like that, and somebody rolls to be that name and they become that soldier, the problem is then name is still in the standard XCOM name list, which means I need to go to the website to change the name list. And why the website? Because it's tied to the mod gender appropriate name list, I think. The names are gender tied. Because originally when I did this, oh my god, originally when I did this, I didn't have the extra console commands mod that allowed me to change the genders of the soldiers in the barracks. But anyway, what is next? There's that laser rifle, speaking of base defense. Contact detected. Medium low. You know what? I will take it. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Oh my god, yes. And we've got the pulse lasers. Plus 50% DPS, roughly. Oft Pez, can I trust you with no kills to take out a raider by yourself? You know what? We'll give Raid a chance. And if he can't kill him, then Oft Pez, you're up. Balanced or defensive? You know what? With so many shots, let's go defensive. That laser cannon's gonna be shooting really quick. Let's try it. Pulse cannon! Oh right, you've got the, the Phoenix gun. That's awkward. We lost the bubble. Contact detected. Okay, well he was nearly dead. I forgot you had the Phoenix cannon. <laughs> I mean that that's fine. Absolutely fine. Pairs just go defensive. Do not fly away. Enemy is padlocked. You should be so done, my friend. Strike range. Done. And you took a hit, damn. Well, that's our next mission. And you guys, neither of you guys should be too badly injured, right? 3 and 15 in Africa. North America is 8 and 12. Oh, one hit is 8. Two hits is 12. Yeah, I suppose it's not that bad. Just over a week and just under two weeks. And 13 in Asia. Yes, it's not bad. Nobody's out for like 20 plus days. And actually, Crimson, you should start heading back to Africa. There you go. Nice. So that's our next mission. Cool. Where is it exactly? Forest heavy vegetation. Medium crashed. 
Well, I'll cut back to here in a second after I roll who this guy's going to be. So I'll just fade to black now as I add the record next for a bit, blah, blah. Okay, time to pick that soldier name. And I thought I'd do something different, at least with the soldier names. Doing something like this is, is quite easy because there it tends to be about 15 people that go into the hat to be the soldier, as opposed to doing this for like a new perk when there are 167-ish perks. So you know what? A soldier name, doing something like this is fine. Let's go. Who's it going to be? Here is Mono. Well done, buddy. You are going to go on the next mission. I've actually got the squad kitted out already. I guess that technically makes you our second Eerie. <laughs> Hopefully that won't get confusing. But guys, I, I guess I I'll, just I'll just cut back now. It's fine. And with that done, write in the comments if you want to be this guy or this gal. Remember, we can change their gender with the advanced or extra console commands. What's your call sign? Tissy phone. Okay, sure. We, we can change that as well. Or oh, I can't change it at the minute because they're specialists. Point is, if you guys want to be the soldier, write your name in the comments below. But for now, guys, that is it. So thank Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to close frame that like button, type in down machines comments below, and let anybody else know if they enjoyed the video as well. It really helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys back soon for more XCOM EW Long War IPS. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye-bye from bye-bye.